Session through for round two of YCS Breakdown for way more information. We got Cyber Dragons for you guys and a Raid Raptor Dragon Extension deck and so much more. Make sure you guys smash the love and crap out subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. First list we have here is Caesar uh, Rinfigo or Ringifo's top 32 list. And very interestingly enough, this feels just like we took the Raid Raptor engine and we pineapple apple pinned it and shoved it together with a Dragon Link package. This has been something that we've kind of seen a little bit more on the combo heavy side of things here. Uh, but this deck still does what it wants to do and it still is going to rank up magic, Kali Yuga or, you know, Arc Rebellion laugh at your opponent through their next turn while producing basic Raid Raptor combos. But the interesting thing is, we have the one four tricks here. I kind of feel like that's the training wheels of this version of the deck, but honestly, in terms of like levels of innovation, I didn't think I'd see Raid Raptor combo perform well anywhere in the universe, but I think that this is awesome, man. Like, getting a chance to see this deck perform is always awesome. Also, you can rank up Magic and Old Mufo. Uh, just kidding. I, it's, it's good. Uh, next up, we have Hakuna My Data's top 32 cyber dragon list i'm actually extremely happy to see that this did well uh we do have the dragoon package in the deck which you already know is going to be one of the cornerstones of this deck uh, i was starting to see that there was a possibility that people might have wanted to start pushing down on cyber dragons in the deck um because this card does feel kind of like a brick but basically we're still aiming to go second to or disrupt the opponent here two lightning storms might feel a little bit bland to some people because it's kind of like three or zero in some people's opinions but i feel like this is fine 43 cards can kind of counteract some of the situation you found yourselves in and also having access to that one kaiju at pretty much all points in time does lead to some particularly interesting boards but outside of that going second cyber dragon a chance to kind of counteract some good strategies here also summon limit definitely being an interesting tech choice for this list next up here we have larry musgrove's 47th place list and the reason why i'm covering this it's because this was a an absolute run back story here. Unfortunately, got 47th place, but this mad lad started 0-2 and ran it all the way home to 9-2, playing Ultra Geist of all things. And I think it's been such a long time since I've heard such an awesome success story like that. That That is awesome. We have the Secret Villages down here to counteract Sky Striker and all the other lovely decks in the room. We have 22 of them pink cards to mess with the opponent's day. Ultra Geist ratios are fine. Uh, the Prosperities instead of the Extraps is totally up to you, but you don't give a crap about your extra deck either way. It's either two blind resources or the chance to pick one resource that you want. So I just want to say special thanks to Larry for running it back home this event. To me, that is absolute insanity. Alright, next up here, we have CJ Mortis's 43rd Praying Kids list here. A little bit short of top cut, but we are playing Ultra Polymerization. Pay 2,000 light points. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using two monsters you control as fusion material. Neither player can activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one fusion monster with fusion summon with these effects, and special summon all the fusion materials used for its fusion summon from your graveyard, but change their attack and defense to zero and negate their effects. This just literally. I should to go, oh, hey, I can make the big guy bring out the materials. All right, they're all loaded back up so I can do another extension play with it. I, it's mind-boggling to me how broken this is. All right, think about it. You can resolve this many battling butlers in one turn. Oh, my lanta. Oh, so many people would be so angry with you. But, yeah, it kind of stinks he fell short of top 32, but that's interesting nonetheless. Next up here... We have Top 32 Salad. This was from uh, Europe, I believe. Uh, but what's so special about this? So two talents here. One will, I'm telling you guys. I, two will's been where it's been this format, but seeing success with one will is fine. Of course, the one field spell is fine. Uh, like I said, Lady Debug has been axed this format. Nobody gives a crap about them. I that's that's hilarious. Triple desires 
gas gas to the floor baby double phantasmic kind of feel like it's, it's been a norman here uh the two rage two or one rage two roar might feel a little bit off to some people as well but honestly i think it's fine also shout out to gobes and match in the side deck being a diversible option down here for a side deck choice man imagine you hit this and your opponent just cries because he can't play the game ah interesting options for 500 all right a, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. Uh, they missed the top cut or into day two barely with this list. But the reason I found this so interesting was because we are still doing the Sinite Universe shenanigans, or shenanigans with this deck. This deck really hasn't changed. Like, if you look at A, B, C as a deck, I still think you kind of just do the same thing with this deck. All right? You just A, B, C combo off on your opponent. You know, in terms of like development, this deck's kind of been solved. And until we get something more exciting along the way, I don't foresee any sort of change to this whatsoever. So honestly, in my opinion, uh, I'm excited to kind of see like if something cool will come out and maybe make this deck a little bit better. But yeah, this was Anthony Lapix's uh, ta or day one, barely missed day two list. Next up here, we have Grayson Hunter's day two Plunder Patrol. We actually just covered a Plunder Patrol list yesterday. I'm glad to see the two duelists playing Plunder Patrol made it to day two. This deck is good enough to make it to day two. Um, also, I think a few people might argue about wanting to play more than two black eyes, but I feel like that might be uh, totally player dependent on that decision. Two Cosmics for back row, sure. Two copies of Emblem, absolutely. Uh, Imper for hand trap options and the two talents as well is fine. Uh, Dark Row No More is to counter and go second. Uh, the extra deck on this deck is always pretty tight. I don't see any real change or things that you can do to really, I guess, spicing up your plunder patrol life. But that is one more going, uh, one more duelist who decided to play plunder patrol this weekend and have some level of success with it. Next up here is 29th place, day one. They barely also missed the cutoff in today too, but it's freaking DDD, man. I, I always love this deck, and we never hardly ever get the chance to see DDD combo out here, but one duel said, you know what? We're gonna step up and we're gonna try something new here. Satellite Warrior in here, this kind of feels like new. This deck is really good at making King Calamities and laughing at your opponent. All right? Who doesn't love being able to produce a high, big, fat boss monster while you're laving at your opponent being like, well, you can't respond or do anything for the rest of the turn, and your opponent's just like, all right, my guy, sure. Um, but as you guys know, most of your combo is going to be degenerate. You're going to go down through King Genghis's do full revives here. Orthros has definitely become a little bit more of a side deck go-to hub for this deck. Uh, I definitely have seen this being a one-of across the board for side decks. Uh, next up here, we have 141st place, Virtual World. What is what is up? Did, did I miss... Something along the way here with this deck, because I feel like I did. F seeing Final Sigma as an extra deck option for this deck to, well, obviously it's unaffected except, you know, by math mech cards. And then literally this card can gas itself up to 6k and literally battle over anything. Did, did I miss some, like, hot virtual world tech? Because seeing this card be here I, I don't know i just feel like i missed something along the way but hey man if you can produce a boss monster in virtual world that is just such a huge dominating force to put more pressure on your opponent because you quote unquote have room in the extra that's fair by me man <laughs> but I, I found this latest innovation to be very interesting for virtual world outside of that the list is very standard and streamlined you don't get a lot of love for virtual world for changes and the last list we have here is hector um Fuentes's top 32 dragon link i finally get the chance to see what new dragon link looks like here and straight off the bat this is a giant cluster of 60 cards all right, I understand why we made top 32. Let's be honest here. Watching Dragon Link combo up, do its thing, is always going to be a good thing. I see that we are doing the Dragoonity package here with Remus. Uh, we also have the Galactic Spiral Serpent. So more extension options for this deck. Uh, double Knock Division is fine. 
Uh, as a <clears throat> certified Dragon Link expert, I think that this deck, may, <laughs> I, I think that this looks fine. All right, for being a huge cluster of cards, this is about what you're looking at for a format. So, guys, what do you think about today's list? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Smash the little crab button, subscribe, and so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on. Leave some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well. I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your card fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.